I do have a question back to Sushi Swap. So now we've kind of seen the, the, the first vampire mining and crypto, right? So for, for those who don't know, vampire mining, Sushi Swap basically stole liquidity, right? For, by giving Uniswap LP, basically liquidity providers, uh, tokens for bringing the liquidity over to their DEX. And what, what do you guys think about now any project trying to copy this technique where they can just basically suck up the liquidity or the total value locked from any protocol by really staging a war by giving out free tokens. So anybody with any take on that? Coach K? Oh, that's, that's a good question, honestly. Um, you know, I think we're talking about Serum right now, obviously. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I think that's, I think Sam is extremely intelligent. I've had conversations with him when he was in Bangkok. Uh, and he's one of those people where you're just like, this guy is, is beyond, he, he's the smartest person in the room. You know, you can tell that. And, you know, I think that you're going to see this happen more often. And, I, and it's not just the fact that he gave tokens, it's the fact that people are paying so much in gas every single day that it's not even a thought. You know, Solana, I think it's built, Serum's on built on Solana. It's faster, mm -hmm. it's more efficient, it's less fees. So it's really not hard to say, hey, you're paying, let's say, like with banks, you know, you're paying X amount to do everything. Why don't you use crypto and it's a lot cheaper? So he's doing a similar technique. And I think we're going to see more of that until E2.0 comes out and they can actually not have these gas fees. And then you're seeing Tron do the same thing. Come and build on Tron, come and build on EOS. Soon Lattice Exchange comes out from Constellation. So there's going to be another one. So I think they're all going to try and vampire each other and they're going to do it with, you know, maybe guerrilla type tactics. And I, I don't know if that's good. I think it's good because Uniswap had way too much of, of, you know, the control, the, the share in the market. And it's good to see, you know, one inch and all these other exchanges come out. And like I said before, it's you're going to have the Pepsis and the Cokes and the Fantas and, you know, all the bottled water companies. And now the question compete. is, do you think these, like the first mover advantage is still there? Do you think they can really build a moat? Cause same thing happened with Curve Finance. Swerve launched, uh, I believe in the last week or so, and is, yep. is basically doing the same exact tactic. Do you, so do you think, cause the whole premise of crypto and DeFi is being open source. But now yeah. if projects are afraid of launching because any project can just basically fork their code and a week later surpass them in liquidity, <laughs> right? Yeah. What's, what, where is the incentive to really open source your code? <laughs> There, there isn't, honestly, I, I never understand, like, I understand why we have open source code, but when with there's with the yield farming, it's like, you pay someone $40,000, and they'll build you a copy of whatever YF code you want, you know, and why because this literally copying and changing a few pieces of, of the code, and then you have your own. Uh, I think what we'll probably start to see is the open source maybe be a little bit more closed or kind of, uh, maybe we'll call it not open source, but they kind of are going to put in um, what, what would you call it from a technical position? You're going to put in kind of secret code where they can't uh -huh. really understand it. You're going to change some things that will make it harder for them if they copy it to understand what's going on. I think you're going to start to see that. And so it makes it more of a challenge for these guys to just copy. Kind of and like the Cold War, right? Kind of I'll like the Cold Wars. Yeah, like it makes it does it makes perfect sense to me because you know when when I was first got into crypto and uh, more into crypto and like really started looking at things, I, I was my first question is why would you want anyone just to be able to copy your code? Like, you know the, that yes, you get first mover advantage, but if someone does something better, it's very easy for them not to have to do very much to get there. So yeah, because actually, I, so I did talk to it uh, to to our developer about this as well, and he mm -hmm. told me. There is an option in terms of Ethereum smart contracts to not make your code open source. Basically, mm -hmm. if, if you don't verify the code, then people can't really go through and view it. But it, it does make it more challenging to get adoption because people can't really audit the code. right? Because the whole True. point of DeFi is anybody can audit the code to make sure there's no scam. Right? But uh, what about like uh, Quantstamp and, um, you know, Certic? They could just give the code to them and they can certify this. This code is great, you know, and maybe they don't have to be open source to do that. So they might be sharing it on the back end. I mean, does that make it fully decentralized? I don't know. Is decentralized kind of a meme? Kind of, in my opinion, it is a little bit of a meme. Nothing will ever be 100% decentralized. It's just anarchy if that's the case in a lot of, in a lot of ways. So I'm not, not that I don't believe in it. I just think that achieving it is going to take a lot longer than people realize. Yeah. 
Anybody with any other comments on that? Yeah, for sushi. Yeah. So when I learned about this, I, I said, never underestimate crypto's ability to sort of F itself, right? <laughs> when, I, when I heard about this, right? So this whole thing tops out and goes down 60%. And I see this little sushi with like a little unicorn thing everywhere. And I and imagine it's like, I don't know, it's kind of like going to work at the New York Stock Exchange, right? You get out of the subway, you go in the building and it's empty. And there's a sign that says, yeah, all the liquidity and the market makers are now across the street or they're uptown. Good luck getting there. Here's the address. Yeah. So when I see people messing with liquidity, I'm just like, no wonder it went down 60% yeah. right now. How it gets solved on the technology angle, that's great. But saying I'm trading over here and then my liquidity and my assets and my market making are over here, it's almost like violating the holy grail, right? You got to have trust in the liquidity. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, a casino, you don't have to worry about them. I mean, you're going to lose the game anyway, but at least you have confidence in the house, in the game, in where your money is and what the chips are worth. <laughs> yeah. So if we're out there in crypto world, okay, sushi was fun. Great. But you know, the computer guys have to fix this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like right. the, the Ghostbusters scene where you never <laughs> no cross the No more sushi streets. swap, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think I made a I made a comment about this a while back before sushi was even a thing, and I said this is just going to be a huge bubble because eventually this this is going to blow up in everyone's face. And it was it started with most of these coins that were named after food, and I was like, come on, does anyone actually really take this seriously? I'll farm it, I'll make money from it. I'm a trader, of course, I'm going to do that. But in retrospect, like it doesn't make any sense. And I sat there, and the fundamental side of me is going like, come on, this is this is kind of ridiculous. Um, and I don't think there's like, I did pork chop, you know, and I made, I made 18 eats from two ETH and I'm sitting there going like, this doesn't even make any sense. I did this in I did one day, you know, and it's pork chop coin. And now where's pork chop coin? Well, of course it went down to pretty much nothing and baguette coin down to nothing. All these coins just go down, down to nothing. And it, it makes sense, you know, cause they don't make sense. <laughs> All right. Um, Okay, so tell us what you think uh, down in the comments 